When starting out with a new Linmont drive, it's always a good idea to download firmware. This guarantees that the firmware in the drive matches the Linmont Talk configuration software that you're using. First, let's review how the system is connected. We start out with a standard computer with Linmont Talk configuration software loaded on it. To get a serial port, we use a USB to RS-232 converter. That's connected up to a standard serial port cable. It's a 9-pin female B-sub on each end, and it's pinned one-to-one. -one. That's connected up to the COM connector on the Linmont drive. I've shown this other green cable here because this cable is used with different styles of Linmont drives that has an RJ45 connector on it instead of the standard 9-pin connector. You should have the Linmont Talk software on your PC. So to start, we'll bring that up. And I like to start by making sure that I can communicate with the drive. So to do that, we'll log into the drive. We'll click on the File button, select Login, Open Offline. Here we have Choice of COM ports. I only have one, but you'll need to pick the correct COM port. Uh, no need for a password. And I say OK. Now the software logs into the drive. And when it displays this screen, you'll know that you're communicating successfully. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to log out by clicking on File, and then Log Out. And I'll know that I can install my firmware now. So in order to install the firmware, what we do is we'll click on the File button again. This time we'll choose Install Firmware. This will default to the location where the firmware files are, and we'll use the firmware underscore build with the date code for it, .sct, as our file. One of the nice things about Linmot is that we include the firmware with the configuration software. So you don't have to go online and find that or anything like that. It is included with the Linmot Talk. So we'll select the firmware build with the date code, Click on Open. Now it will ask us to pick our COM port. COM2 is correct, so we'll do that and click on OK. And then we'll start by answering some questions. First of all, which interface are we going to use with the drive or install into the drive? This is the command table I.O. interface, but there are other choices here, such as can open, device net, on other drives, you'll have Ethernet IP or maybe Profibus or something like that, and you'll choose the interface that you want. I will leave CTIO interface in here. The next question is, what application do you want to use? Now, there are various applications. Master Slave is one example, and typically you'll choose none unless you know what you want. So we'll leave this at none. We'll click on OK. And now it's asking us, are we ready to download the firmware? Yes, we are. Do you want to continue? OK. And here we go. We will start, the, or the software will start downloading the firmware into the drive. Now, one of the nice things, again, about the Linmont software is, is that it will give us a progress indication of how we're doing. So now we're erasing firmware sectors, downloading the operating system, and it's giving us a progress bar to tell us what's happening. So this goes on for a while, and at this point I'll skip ahead and pick it up when it's done. Now you can see from this screen that the installation is successful. So to move on, we'll click on the OK button. And it will complete. So now we have firmware downloaded into our drive. Once again, to confirm, I usually log into the drive by clicking File and Log In. Picking my COM port. Once again, no password required. Clicking on OK. You see that we're logging in. 
And once we get our control panel screen, we'll know that we're able to log into the drive and we can go on to the next step. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please give us a call or visit us online at www.linmot.com. Thank you.